You know, if inflation is as violent as a mugger, then insecurity is a crusher. Christmas or Noel is an annual uh, Christian festival commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. It's an essential time for the exchange of gifts and homecoming. Okay, for millions of countrymen and countrywomen, this annual festi festival or ritual would be a non-event. No thanks to hyperinflation and insecurity. Prices of essentials like tomato and pepper have gone through the roof. Transport fares to destinations are harrowing. An impoverished population harassed by bandits and terrorists is like the real Armageddon. Is the message of Christmas lost? Yes. Because Christmas is about love. Christmas is about giving. Christmas is about brotherhood. Christmas is about um, faith. But what we have now is, is not close to any of these things that I've mentioned. Because the economic situation is really bad. When you discuss with the people, with a lot of people, the inflation is crazy. Mm. And then growing up in these states, I'm from these states, growing up in Lagos, Christmas is not, don't used to be like this. Yeah. In fact, it, when, you look at, when you look at weeks to Christmas, you will know that that is Christmas. Yeah. Mm. You will see, you, it will be in the hair. That yeah. will be joy. That will be excitement. That will be celebration you know, everywhere. As boys troubadouring, you yes, know, going, we'll going with right. uh, but now, across. But now, Christmas just came upon us without us even knowing that it was Christmas. That's it. That's you understand? It. Mm. Without Christmas, because... And no, the situation is not helped by the fuel scarcity. Yes. Transport to show how times have changed, how can we be looking for fuel on a Christmas day? There are a lot of people that don't even have fuel to go. Even when they want to buy at the 250 Naira that they are selling mm. now in some stations, they can't even get it to buy. Mm. When you look at the food, people cannot get food to buy. Before, giving is a normal thing in, during Christmas. That's one of the times that people extend things and you get a lot of gifts. I remember that before in this country, Christmas period like this, I would get so many presents, TVs, ampers, um, 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 rice, so many that I would be giving when, out to when, people. When last did you get a hamper? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, <laughs> nobody gave me one single hamper. It, it, oh, it, 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 now people give you rice, but it's just because we are privileged few that have access to things like that. A lot of people mm. don't have access to such gifts. Yeah. So, yes, things, Christmas, so the, things the, have the, changed. The, yes. the message, the essence yes. of Christmas yes. is lost. Uh, and Jide, you are wondering if we can recover from it. That's the, the incoming, the next government has a lot of work to do. A lot of work. Uh, the economy is, is such a bad state. Mm. There's a lot of work to do there. Insecurity is inflicting so much pain on our people. There's a lot of work to do in that area. People have farms, they can't access their farms. This is the main reason that uh, farm produce is so expensive, so expensive. Because people can't access a lot of the farms. Yeah. So food insecurity, is very much here. How do we address this problem of rising food prices? Maybe we may have to go to what we used to do in those days, price control. Hmm. Because everybody just sells at any price that pleases him in our country. And once the price goes up, it never, it never comes, comes down. down. Never. So our people are going through a lot. This is a terrible Christmas for most people. Many people will just be indoors because they've got no money. They can't buy new clothes, new shoes. These things used to be associated with Christmas. Of course. You know, they can't buy new shoes. They can't even move around freely because of a uh, uh, fuel scarcity. Those who have gone home now, if they are to come back, mm. if they are to come back, the costs of coming back. Yes, the, 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 what they will pay.
for transport <laughs> will make some of them regret even going home. Because we are seeing people selling fuel at up to 300 naira per liter, yeah. some 350. Even at filling stations, they are dispensing at 250. Yeah. It's not, uh, it's not uh, yet. The ex depot price is, is way lower. But no one is doing anything about it. You go to a community just outside of Lagos, you see, it's either you are ready to buy at 250 or 300 naira per liter. You know, just no, no just behind us there in Lagos, in Oregon here, yeah. you will see it's like the petrol station there in Oregon. Yeah. It's, only, sell at 250. it's only the major marketers that are selling at that the mobiles of this world and the NMPCs. And NMPC. They are the only ones not selling Independent marketers are selling at 250. Others are selling at 250. And they put it there, 250. Independent marketers, that's what they sell. So that, that's why Christmas is bleak for most people. And you want to buy rice, I mean, you want to buy chicken. Because the children, I remember when we were young, we started looking forward to Christmas chicken months before. before. Mm. You want to tell them that, ah, this chicken will not happen. And jollof rice. Yeah, and jollof rice, that it won't happen this uh, Christmas. You know it's painful for a yeah. parent. Yeah. Many parents will go through a lot. Do you know they have not seen Turkey in the last couple of days? I've seen, uh, at least I've seen some. I've like, not seen Turkey in seen, anybody's house. No, people, people have not brought Turkey. Maybe they will come. Well, after Christmas? Well, Some, we eat it before Christmas? No, but it's a new year. In my view, new year is even a bigger celebration that you okay. are seeing the new year, mm. you know? So uh, those who cannot eat chicken now, they will still continue to work hard at it so that hmm. by, by January 1, they should be able to slaughter That's it. You know, you uh, know. chicken. <laughs> it's, it's, it's terrible, and it's like that everywhere yeah. across our country. No part of the country is left out. Mayor is talking about the next government. It, it, it has, the next government must do two basic things. Damage control, damage reduction. Because a lot of, da of damage had been done to... I agree. Yeah. And part of the problem is that um, this is a lame dog government. The government is winding down. It has only some few months to go. So um, my attention has already shifted to the government that is coming. Mm. Like I said, the government that is coming... Um, have their job cut out, so they're going to have to do a lot of things. But I believe, I'm very optimistic, that the next government will be better than this government. I'm very optimistic it, about it that. It has no choice. I'm it, optimistic it, about that. It, it cannot go below what we are we are. Be any more things cannot go below than, where we are. They are so yeah. the only way we can go is up. We are now at the rock bottom. That's our prayer. You know, that's our prayer. I believe that this government, yes, I hope they will have the guts to take difficult decisions. You understand? If they have the guts to take difficult decisions, because part of the problem that we have is that, for one reason or the other, those running our economy are not taking the right taking decisions. Taking difficult decisions and right choices. Uh, yes, and right choices. Right, right choices. Yes. Um, what a Christmas. What a Christmas. What a bleak Christmas. <laughs> and, uh, because that's and, what it is. What, what a Christmas. What and and Gide, we must talk about safety at a time like this. You, you hear horrible, uh, avoidable accidents on, mm. on a day like this. Yes. Only the living celebrates. Yeah. Uh, when, uh, we, people must also celebrate uh, with a sense of moderation. Mm. Even if you have all the money in the world, it doesn't mean you should drink yourself to stupor Silly. and then put your life at risk. Because alcohol, too much consumption of alcohol can send you Mm. To yeah. bunkers to the world beyond. Yeah, you know, not just uh, uh, get you drunk. It can take your life. Yeah. So people have to be careful. Those of them who have money to celebrate, do it with moderation. And I think at this time, we need to also remember the poor in our society. Oh yes, the very oh, yeah. poor, the poorest of the poor. Those children in those um, uh, orphanages. We need to remember that if it is this difficult for we uh, regular folks, mm. how about those children for, yeah, yeah. who rely on handouts from you and I to survive? How would it be for them? Mm. How would it be for them? My, my mind goes to those children. So Nigerians who are well-to-do have 
so much money. They should be prepared. Yes, they should try to reach to out more. Reach out to Lord those who and people in the old also to old also to communities, homes. communities. Yeah. There are some poor communities. Yeah, Makoko and in some areas like that. You, it's good for us to reach out to them. You know because um, hunger is real, and we should try as much as possible to provide food for the vulnerable in the mm. society. When you're able to solve the problem of food, that's a step forward. At least it, that's a major, yeah, that's a major single point to survive it. So we, we, all of us should try to reach out. That is the essence of Christmas because the Christmas day is the heart of giving, and we should try to reach out. Uh, more. And the major inflation is man-made, man triggers yes, inflation. Is. It is, and I'm, I'm wondering if it is in our nature to build inflation and not bring it down. No, we can bring it down. That's why I said it has to do with policies of mm. government. Okay. Inflation has to do with policies of government depending on, be conscious on some indices efforts. within that mm. thing. So there must be conscious effort to try to bring it down. There was inflation in America that mm. it was getting out of hand. The government, the government made efforts, even passed a budget to be able to bring inflation down. Today, inflation is coming down in America. Government has to do policies. I am not a fan of, I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of those who run our economy, especially the monetary policies. I believe that they're not doing well enough and that those policies are impacting negatively on the economy. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're having this type of inflation. GD, are, are you not surprised that the new currency is being uh, messed around with? I've not seen the currency. Have you seen it? I, I've not, too. I've not seen it. But the you story is that... Maybe the people like GD, you know, GD is a big man. Maybe GD has seen it. I've not seen um, it. Hmm? What, what do you call it? Uh, People, say, people, um, people who have seen it, people who had it and tried to um, buy, pay for goods and services with it, have been uh, resisted by, by, by Nigerians who are not prepared yeah. to take the money from them. Because it's scarce. It's scarce. You, you told people to return the Old Naira notes. notes in their what, hands. They did. One. Now they go to bank and they, they can't they can't have they the say collect notes. the old one. The banks are still dispensing old, old notes. Old notes. The ATM uh, machines are still, uh, the ATMs are still dispensing old, old notes. notes. So what are we talking about? Uh, are you surprised that what the deputy don't of the CBN said? I'm not surprised. Mm. I'm not surprised. This, uh, uh, these days only a few things surprise me in our country. I'm not surprised. But you cannot tell people to bring. Old notes. Old notes that they are not ready. They are, they are not prepared. Not ready. They are not see? prepared for what the they policies that they initiated themselves. They are not ready. I and mean, you are saying that January 31, that uh, the old notes won't be legal, legal tender. Yeah. If by January 31, the old notes won't be legal tender anymore, by now, the new, we sh the, our country will be awash with yes, the new with notes. Yes, with the new notes. Many people, big time traders, have not set their eyes on so the new notes. So if you now go to them if and you say you want to buy something, it, and you present the new notes, you ask you which, uh, which forest, note is this one. They will think it's fake. Yes, they because will Because they've not fake. seen it before. I have so, not seen it, and I've been to the banks severally. I, in fact, I had to talk to them in the bank to say that. You guys claim that. No, they, they, they didn't give them yes. enough. That's, That's what I'm saying. Where are the new notes? They don't have it. They didn't give them enough. If you don't give them can't see the new notes. Imagine an average Nigerian. Where will you see the new notes? They are even saying that uh, some banks will say, okay, you can't take more than uh, 2,500. What is that? Come on, come on. I mean, it's, not, it's uh, just not enough. What they, what they printed is just not enough. And I don't know, maybe some people have hijacked it. Only God knows. Because this thing is not going around. And you are telling people to print But the central bank themselves claim they printed 500 million. What is 500 million? To a population of nearly two, you you million. claim that you claim that you have over two trillion. Yes, that you want to bring back into the banking system. Yeah, you understand. And, you and then you put that five hundred million. Million, I can't understand. Even that five hundred million, uh, it's not enough for some millionaires in Abuja. Yes, now, some <laughs> <laughs> ah, billionaires. So what? what huh? that, for one person, but Mayor, are we missing a national orientation at this point? Of course, yes. Because you know, there this was is why you need to you, go to you know, town. There was a yes. that's what, it's because, that's what I'm saying, that different organs of government have depreciated in a way that 
they are not as effective as they used to be. National Orientation Agency used to be a very effective agency. Yeah. At when Ghana like was this, in charge of it. Uh, okay. You are, are you talking of Mams, Mamsa or NOA? No, no. Okay. <laughs> we no, sorry. Yes. It was we the we end of them. them was doing, them was doing, mm. doing, mm. doing, doing, doing that. But what yeah. I'm saying is that at the time, the agency and they have people were across effective. The yes. They have but now, staff across the state. there's still the National Orientation Agency. But I've never even, I don't even know yeah, what they do. But you know the thing is, until we try to find out what's going on there, hmm. you can have an agency uh, that is best for a time like this. But yeah. if it is not properly funded, of that's course, it. it can't that's carry out problem. its activities. Yes. Hmm. So we don't know the level of funding. Of funding, yes. I agree. Even the ministry itself, the Ministry of Information. What's the level of funding? What's the there? level of funding? Because we have stories in the past that they wanted to travel, they went and met uh, some people to give them money to travel. You know that whole story. Oh, yeah. You know? oh, so yeah. these things happen until we know the level the, of funding. Also, the digitization story, too. The level of funding. Oh, they've done one and stalled. <laughs> <laughs> that one has stalled. I don't think we will ever complete that one, that phase. Hmm. So we need the orientation agency to be allied to responsibilities. For example, the CBN has come up with some security features, to, I mean, to announce some yeah. security features of the new currency. They are supposed to drive that narrative, yeah. drive the... That's it, go the to message. Market, yeah. drive the message. That to, yes, the enlightenment, you know, yes. Tell people that, look, don't reject any currency that has this, that has this, that... Because traders are chasing them away. Mm. One guy was even beaten and... He no, was, that was a skit. Yeah. But I mean, the essence of the skit <laughs> is to show what was happening. But it was a very effective skit. Yes, no, it you was, wouldn't know that it was a skit. Or the well, one, it was, it was skit. well... Uh, it was, yeah, well, well, uh, yeah, all yeah, all right, packet. let's welcome Chike at Makodi. Uh, Chike, I greet you. Merry Christmas to you. Ah, this is in I greet you. I greet you, sir. Welcome. How are you today, sir? We thank the Lord. Yes, so, Chief, Babaji, uh, they call I the official view. I greet you, sir. The encyclopedic journalistic master. I greet you. I salute you. I appreciate and, you. And uh, Chief, uh, Mayor. Mayor, I keep well, Well done, yes, sir. Uh, my my greetings to you all. Thank you. Opulora, Opulora is greeting you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today, this, uh, I have a message for you, sir. Okay. An apostolic Hello. message. Hello. Is it an apostolic message? Baba Jide. Yes. Uh, Baba Jide, I don't know if you have received it. I have a recording of your Christmas ceremony. I will need your WhatsApp number to forward it to you. Chike, please, <laughs> you, you called us because you wanted to contribute. Let's go straight. And then uh, after the then program, we'll call, yes. Yeah. Uh, no, it's to communicate. Okay. The, the producer will get across to you. All right, all right. Thank you, Chike. The producer will get across to you. So if the coins are legal tender, we should also Let's go. know. Let's go. Yes, we should also Because do, yes. in Ghana, they still spend the coins. I think it is the pesewas or mm. pesetas or whatever they call it, yeah. along with the CDs. The coins are here, but they are not legal tender. Yeah, but the problem with that is that because they are not valuable. When was the last time you saw the coins? That's right. They don't know. Mm. It, so you can't put value to it mm. because, of, because of the inflation and the cost mm. of things. You, you, know, you can't really buy anything. And when you cannot buy anything with it, it has lost it's value. It's useless. Mm. Yes, that is why you don't see the coins around. But even the new news that I said they want to give us, it, that's why I said I don't like the monetary policies of this government. You know, they don't sit down and look at things and then it will be well thought out. For example, yeah. they've already changed. They said they want to do cashless policies in January yeah. and that there's a limit to what you can withdraw. They have increased it now. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Things, those are the things that they should have done and met with yeah. the necessary organs of government. No, the uh, CBN, I blame the CBN governor for it. A, a president who want to give you the latitude to do your work. work. As a CBN governor, you have the autonomy and all that. But you also need to um, check with other stakeholders That's what I'm before saying, you take stakeholders, big yes. steps. The other day, like the issue of the money that the, the, the uh, new currency, the finance minister she was, not, was aware. not aware. Yeah. You see, no one is saying that she should dictate Get to you. Get approval, no. But Let those know. steps, even the World Bank, 
has said that this currency chain will hurt the poor. Yeah. World Bank has said that no one can Google it. Of course. So there are steps that you take that will affect all of us. And then we'll get to a point that all of us will want to look for a way to address it. So you cannot say that you, you, that, uh, uh, you don't have to tell, tell her. Mm. Now look at this, this last one now that they, they, that, that they come up with. Everyone can see that, especially in the rural areas, it can't work. It can't mm. work. Because for it to work, everybody must have a bank account. Oh, and yeah. Yes. I must oh, be able yeah. to transfer money. And, you able to transfer. and in those rural areas, there are even no banks. Hmm. No banks. You can and, and so when many you, kilometers, When you hear no the, that the country is underbanked, you are wondering who is saying what. And security, insecurity has money. worsened the situation because my own uh, uh, town, we used to have a bank. All of those banks are dead. Because, because of, of the security insecurity. situation, yes. Mm. Criminals target rural banks. They go there, take all the money, they, they run away. Mm. Don't forget that in Lagos, uh -huh. banks used to be um, um, normal play for armed robbers until they changed the security architecture and it's difficult for armed robbers now to attack banks. Before, attacking banks was a daily occurrence. Yeah. So you now imagine in the rural areas where you don't have such um, security architecture. It's just, it's just, a, it's just, it's just a normal mm -hmm. thing because you go, to, you go to a bank, you see maybe only maybe one policeman. Sometimes there may not even be a policeman mm -hmm. there. So you can overwhelm and do whatever you want to do in, in, in those areas. And you cannot even transfer money because even in Lagos, Mm. Even in Lagos, sometimes you transfer money, and because of network, it will not go. It won't go. And some people will insist that you must receive a lot of, before of you course. take the product. Of That's course. Right. We yeah. are saying that. Yeah. So for this thing to succeed, areas, everybody must do. you must get the infrastructure right. The telco, our telco services must be better. And uh, even electricity, mm. if you can't charge your phone, for example, how even do you in, then, Even in America, you know? even in America where a lot of people... You are you that are used to um, cashless policy and they, they and they use their credit card. They still uses cash. People mm. still spend cash. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So spending cash is not as if but, it's but a criminal thing. Okay. Mayor, if Kenya and Rwanda have gone 80, 90 percent cashless, we are still paying catch up, and we are supposed to be the big brother. No, no, because that's what I'm saying that it depends on the policies and all that. But it can get better. It depends on who well, is driving those so policies. That is, you can't do it so deadly. Yes, it, it depends on who is driving policies. And that. then you have to look at, they are smaller communities. Of With course. all respect to them, Rwanda is a, is a city country. It's now. a city country. Yeah, it's so, only Kigali and mm. some villages around Kigali. So you can't compare that with um, Lagos. All right.